In this world, neither humans nor lions can survive in isolation. As the functional ecosystems continue to fade due to human activities, all the more these wild animals become reliant on human beings. While it's true that some people are slowly getting close to these creatures, one must not forget that these animals tend to be consistent to their nature and biology, especially when provoked. Aside from being territorial, lions are extremely protective of their cubs, too. They will risk their lives and fight any predator who intends to harm their young. There are lots of recorded cases in which lions attack humans, and mostly, the damages are fatal. These horrible events seem to put the boundaries between lions and humans once again. However, it seemed that a zookeeper from South Africa doesn't know anything about these dangers. He gets inside a den and picks up a cub as if he's picking up a kitten or a puppy. But when a lioness saw what he did, the events that followed would surely leave you in awe. With a lot of possible jobs and professions in the world, it is safe to say that only a few people would accept the challenge of being a zookeeper. While there are cute and completely harmless animals in the zoo, no one can tell where you will be assigned. In this case, Kevin Richardson from South Africa seemed to land in the worst position possible. Assigned to look after a group of lions, Kevin knows that his job is not a joke. Either female or male lions can be aggressive in a blink of an eye. He is aware that these beasts are ready to attack and tear through any kind of enemy once they feel aggravated. Still, he didn't say no to the job. He is confidently up for the challenge. Of course, Kevin Richardson did his assignment before accepting the job. For many years, he had been learning about lions and lionesses as well as their cubs. Known for their beauty and strength, the zookeeper is aware that lions wouldn't be called the king of the jungle for nothing. It's interesting to note that when it comes to food, a group of lionesses called pride does most of the hunting. The males, on the other hand, defend their territory. But when it comes to protecting the younger members of the family, the lions and lionesses are both a force to be reckoned with. They will attack anyone who poses danger to their cubs, but the zookeeper seems to have the wild beasts under his fingertips. Despite knowing a lot about the animals he had to care for, Kevin knows that he couldn't afford to be careless. One mistake in dealing with lions can get him injuries, or worse, it could mean his life. The kings of the jungle are fully aware of their strengths, especially when they are smelling danger. Without a common language to use, Kevin had to rely on his wits and instincts. But one day, it seemed that Kevin is too confident to enter the animal den. The lion enclosure is home to female and male lions. He had a job to do, and he made it sure that he would have a remembrance. Without protective gears or weapons, Kevin made his way inside. He walked in where adorable cubs lie in wait. Was he supposed to take photos? With his video camera on, Kevin slowly walks inside the lion's enclosure. The lioness just stared at the zookeeper. However, her eyes are evidently on the look. Her cubs are with her, and she doesn't seem to detect any sign of danger. Kevin had to be attentive. Any sign of anxiousness can lead to an unfortunate event. Although it was not his first time to enter the lion enclosure, the zookeeper still feels a little bit nervous whenever he gets too close. Slowly and quietly, Kevin approached the group. With his heart in his hand, he then picks up a cub. Lunchtime is approaching and there are jobs to be done. The other staff waited outside. The lioness wouldn't just sit there and watch. What happened next was jaw-dropping. Kevin knows how to appear harmless to the lions. With years of experience dealing with their behaviors, he had learned how to act confidently. Although his life is always at risk whenever he approaches them, he knew he would always say yes to the job. He must never appear anxious or agitated or else the lions will react differently. The zookeeper seemed to be lost in thoughts while holding an adorable cub in hand. The lioness wasted no second and jumps on him. Dumbstruck, all that Kevin could do was raise his hands and cover his face. The massive beast can easily tear him into pieces, but the fatal attack didn't happen. Instead, the lioness acted in a gesture of embrace. She seemed to miss the zookeeper. What could be the reason behind the sudden jump for joy? The lioness didn't attack Kevin in a fierce mode that's meant to hurt him. Instead, the happy mother was in a playful mode. The zookeeper had been with her since she became pregnant. An unusual friendship between a human and a lion had blossomed within a span of a few months. Just like humans, the pregnant lioness remembered how the zookeeper had kept her well-fed, comfortable, and protected. In the wild, it wouldn't be this easy to survive. 
The lioness seemed to show her appreciation because the zookeeper had taken good care of her while she was in such a vulnerable condition. As if saying thank you, the lioness jumped on Kevin and was in the gesture of hugging a dear friend. How is this possible? No mother would want to be separated from her kids, may it be humans or animals. Kevin knows that he is risking his life in trying to separate the cubs from the lioness. However, being a zookeeper, he had jobs to do. For those lions in captivity, there's a strict nutritional plan and the zookeepers have to follow them strictly. Kevin has to separate the cubs to feed them properly. Knowing that one day he would eventually come down to this task, Kevin worked his way out on being a constant sight to the pregnant lioness. He wants her to be comfortable with him. Whenever he comes to the enclosure, he would greet the lioness and ask if she is okay as if he's talking to a fellow human. At first, Kevin was really cautious and always attentive. There are times when he would stand and watch for hours from outside the animal enclosure. There are also days when the lions would not be in the mood due to a variety of reasons. It could be the weather or the other lions in the group. However, even if he can't get close enough, he made it sure the animals can see him every day. For Kevin, caring for animals is just like caring for humans too. One needs to be compassionate and understanding. But most of all, one has to devote time. As patient as he can, Kevin included in his schedule a playtime with the lions. He calls the daily encounters office meetings. It was like an ordinary job in the city. Anyone who can build a close relationship with animals, especially with the wild ones, seems exceptional. Not all people are given the chance to see these magnificent creatures. Sometimes it takes a considerable amount of money and courage to do so. Undeniably, Kevin Richardson is one of those brave and fortunate people who had been allowed to enter the territory of the kings of the jungle. Following a rigorous work schedule every day, Kevin had soon learned the language of the wild beasts. He would say hi to the lions before starting on his jobs, and he makes sure to say goodbye to them as well before heading home. As the lions began to feel safe in his presence, his co-workers in the zoo began to call him the Lion Whisperer. Not all humans have the opportunity to see lions. As the world heads towards development, the natural habitats of these animals are continuously getting destroyed and put in peril. Some breeds of lions are now considered endangered species. Even if some people are raising awareness, some choose to stay silent about the alarming issue. With these unfortunate happenings, one can consider himself lucky at the mere sight of these majestic creatures. It is not impossible that one day their population will just perish. That would be heartbreaking. Given the chance to be close and be treated as a friend, Kevin Richardson knows that this kind of experience is something to nurture in his lifetime. Even if he is aware that anything can go wrong at any moment, he chooses to trust the lions just as the beasts trust him too. Even the people who visit zoos and lion sanctuaries rarely see cubs. Either they are heavily protected by their mothers or they need a delicate care and attention. In the jungle, the female lions do everything they can to hide their cubs from possible predators. But in captivity, the lions can still find ways on how to defend their young. Kevin was so thankful he had the chance to interact with cubs, especially those who are just weeks old. He knew from his learning that cubs love to be cuddled. They see it as a sign of protection from other predators and even from their own kinds. The zookeeper was glad that their daily cuddling sessions allowed the cubs to show their affection toward him. In the process, Kevin had learned something new as well. A big part of Kevin's confidence in his job was acquired through experience. The major tips are provided in the books, but he had to muster enough courage to get as close as possible to these wild beasts. His daily routine had helped him to build a relationship with the lions. Aside from talking to zoologists and researchers, Kevin takes time to learn about them even more. He loves to observe. While there is no shortage of reference from the internet about lions, their behaviors and literally about everything that relates to them, nothing beats real experience. Although the steps on how to approach, how to take care, and how to deal with these animals can be read from the books, zoologists and researchers know there's much more than just meets the eye. While adult lions can be easily fed, the lioness that had just given birth had to be treated with double caution. She is still recovering, and just like humans, female lions tend to be aggressive when provoked, even to their own kind. Kevin knew his task was not easy. It is time for lunch. Although the lions tend to be calm whenever they are eating, one wrong move in their surroundings and they get alarmed and agitated easily. Aside from bringing food to the lion's enclosure, Kevin and some of his aides couldn't leave. 
Even if they don't have to move so they couldn't interrupt the eating beasts, they have to be patient. Their job is to guard the lioness and the cubs while they are eating. Why do they need to watch? The lioness and her cubs are not isolated from the pride, a group of female lions. Inside the enclosure, they still have to adapt and mingle with the others. The pride loves to interact with one another and play. Even Kevin enjoys these moments. It is his favorite time of the day when he can finally play with the lions. But he has to make sure they have eaten well or else their moods will not be so good. During feeding time, Kevin and some of the zoo staff have to stay and wait until they are finished. They need to restrain the rest of the lions or they would interrupt the mother and cubs from eating. It can easily lead to a dangerous situation. For the meantime, the playtime has to be put on hold. While it is true that lions are one of the most feared groups of animals either in the jungle or in animal sanctuaries, they can only inflict that fear when they come of age. But until they are cubs, they have to hide under the protection of their mother. They are as vulnerable as kittens. At eight weeks old, the cubs would be permitted to play with the rest of the pride. While they might have the strength to play inside their enclosure, Kevin still has to be on guard for a couple of months. The cubs are still smaller than the adult ones and they must not fall victim in the false sense of security. Until they can defend themselves from everyone around them, Kevin has to wait. He loved it anyway. As absurd as it may sound, Kevin Richardson feels the responsibility of a father towards the lion family in captivity. Winning over the trust of the lioness and doing everything just to get close to the cubs was not an easy task. He had to spend hours watching them and learning about their behavior. He quietly approached the beasts and showed them he is a friend. Now, more than ever, the zookeeper feels the need to protect them. Inevitably, a time will come when the cubs will be introduced to the father and they will be allowed to mingle with the other lions. So as long as he has the opportunity to protect the lions he has learned to love dearly, Kevin knows he will stay. Kevin's job in the zoo is enjoyable. Being naturally fond of animals, he doesn't regret becoming a zookeeper instead of pursuing a career in the city that can pay him well. However, he had to admit that there are days when he really feels tired and exhausted. But even so, he had no plans of leaving his post. It's as if he felt he was really born for this. He wanted to be a lion whisperer, and he knows he is as close to his dreams as possible. One day, after playing almost all day with the lioness and the adorable cubs, Kevin laid down on a grass bed inside the lion's enclosure to take a rest. Seeing the lions calmed and resting, he decided to take a nap. Instead of seeing a helpless prey, the lioness came closer and laid beside Kevin just like a protective mom. Just like in humans, being a mother is a cumbersome job. The lioness had to deal with her cubs and make them feel loved and protected despite their father away from them. While Kevin does everything to lend a helping hand, there are still limits. Even though they think they can understand each other, there are feelings and emotions that only the lioness can feel towards the cubs. As days passed, Kevin and his special friend were not aware that taking a nap together was slowly becoming a hobby. The other staff in the zoo would see them resting and the sight was too good to be true. No one can believe at first how Kevin can walk in and walk out safely every day. And now, he can nap with the animals without worrying about his life. Indeed, a special friendship had been formed. Being a keeper of lions is something that would take a lot of convincing to most people. In South Africa, people are used to seeing animals, even the wild ones, and most of them thought they will be in this world forever, being taken care of or not. But the job description seemed to knock on Kevin's heart. He had no doubts he would be a good fit despite the possibility of dangers. Kevin goes to the job the same way corporate employees go to the office. He works hard but still finds time to chill and relax with the lions. There was never a day in his life where he regretted where he is today. He even wants to recruit people and show them that kindness and compassion can make miracles. The lion's population is in a rapid decline, not only in South Africa but in the rest of the world as well. As the wildlife habitats of these wild animals are being affected by a variety of human activities, all the more Kevin feels the need to protect his friends. He knows in his own simple ways he can inspire people to do the same. One by one, he started teaching his co-zookeepers the secret language of the lions. He is grateful that he had successfully proved he is no threat to the lioness and the cubs. His efforts had paid off and he had earned their trust in the process. Thinking to himself, Kevin knew he still had more to give to his friends. What could that possibly be? Kevin believes that if he can, others can do it as well. 
His special friendship with these massive beasts inspired him to reach out to others and to bring awareness to what is happening. He can't imagine a day when there are no lions roaming around and showing off their majestic stance and fearsome clan. They are wild and they can kill, yet they are only being true to their nature. Kevin fully understands that. While there is no such thing as a human-predator conflict between them, Kevin knows that the lions are facing plenty of dangers out there such as disease, unscrupulous hunting, bushmeat, and illegal trade, among others. But above all these threats, Kevin Richardson is determined to keep them safe, no matter what it takes. <laughs>